Hello, welcome back. This is Greybeard. And as you can see, I think I've pretty much recovered from the debacle of last episode, losing all my stuff in the end. I did all the enchanting the last episode and got my stuff back that way. And after, in between episodes, I went into the nether, went actually under my fortress, started a new um, ancient debris mine, and got actually a stack of ancient debris, and that was enough to cover me with ancient debris. So that's good. And I think I've had enough of various farms and stuff, and I need a place to put all these things. Which leads me to this unused wing of my ha of my house here that you see behind me. This is going to be the new home of my storage storage facility. I'm going to use a design that uh, by Tango Tech. Oh, and apologies to uh, Rayworks and Shulkercraft. I mentioned I I used their I used Rayworks's design for breaking through bedrock you know, a couple episodes ago, and I used uh, Shulkercraft. Uh, their design for my um, Ender Ender and didn't actually mention them. I, I linked to them, but I didn't actually mention them on, on on camera for that. I apologize. Sorry. But I'm definitely mentioning Tango Pews. This is an awesome design. The challenge is that it's it's six high. So, and this area is only three high. I'm not going to touch the ceiling because I don't want, I want to, keep the look the same there but that means I have to somehow go down three and what I did was I copied my world to a different I made I made a I made a copy of the world and went into creative and experiment with different ideas and I think what I'll do is lower the floor here one and then step down one and a half steps from there around the edges here and be and i'll be able to access three more ch chests in the wall that way i think it, and i think it looks pretty good i'm also going to switch from these uh logs strip logs to planks uh, this th this window will, will all go away, but let's face it, all I'm looking at here is vines, and a lot of these vines are going away. Some of them already have. I've started to chop down some trees here. And what else is there to say? One thing I forgot to mention is that uh, in between episodes, I built a chicken farm. I don't really care much for chickens. I don't eat their meat or anything. I don't have much need for feathers. But if and when I do a wither farm or have a need for wither roses, one way of getting them is to put a, a lot of baby chicks in with the wither when I spawn it. And for that, I need a lot of, of eggs. So I've got a couple of chests full of eggs here. And this is open, open down into my, near my compost pile there. I can, uh, I can put a shulker box, box on here to have for a manual shulker box loader. So I have that very simple design, bunch of chickens, bunch of eggs, simple. And as I said, it's already working. Yeah. I don't know why I keep 
throw him away. I should probably just. I also turned this back on. I'm not really sure why. I think I just had plenty of funny blocks. Oh well. So. Um, I think I'll best just get started with this. And I'll I'll break in when I sh when I have some news. It is going to cut into the aquarium a little bit, but that's mostly just the beach part, the the, the sandy part. Not here. Yeah, somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh, great. Ah, lovely. Yeah. This part here, over to here a little bit, is going to have to be, become less beach. It's going to be, in his design, he has these 12 double, 6 by 2, 12 units, 12 chest, double chest units. And I'm going to, and my intention is to have five of them, one on this side, one here and then four on here going to about eh, here or so I think is where it ended up so that's a plan so that means that this area here is going to be part of I think it ends here and then I have to put the overflow somewhere around here somehow we'll see yeah so that's the plan I'll patch this up here for the moment. Okay. Uh, let me get busy and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I wanted to bring you back just to get an idea of how things look. I know it's a bit, a bit chaotic at the moment. So, I took out the floor and started to make the slope here. Um, so, there's two columns of chests six deep one two three four five six with one column on either side for item frames and then between each each segment there's going to be a column for crafting tables or furnaces whatever and there, as I said, there's going to be five units like this. One, two, three, four, and then one off on this side here. Can't quite fit another one here because then it'll hit my uh, sugar cane farm. I try, that's one thing I learned in the creative test. And there's a lot of redstone that goes on out behind here. So I'm going to have to clear off some of these, some more of these trees. I already cleared off one. And frankly, I'll need the lumber. There's a lot of hoppers and a lot of slabs and a lot of other things going to this. I've already done a lot of resource gathering for redstone. Got a stack of blocks already. And so the next step is to put it, make some some spruce stairs. I'm, I'm going to keep you keep using spruce as I have here. But but switch to switch to planks because there's a lot more flexibility, obviously. And try and make this the interface with the uh, with the aquarium a little more seam as seamless as possible. I hope. Yeah. Okay, and I'll bring you back when this part looks nice. Okay, I think I've had the interior looking the way I want it. As I said, I went with planks, lowered most of the floor one block, a little transition, and then there's stairs going down to the chest. I can still reach the bottom chest. Yes, these are still only single chests, not double chests. That will obviously change before I get the whole thing done. I have a lot of chests to craft. I haven't even started on the hoppers yet. 
um, these chests in the middle here they don't open yet um, they're going to be for inserting so for example if this area here is all stuff you find in the nether and I've just finished a trip to the nether where I have soul sand netherrack and all kinds of other stuff from the nether I can just go here directly and drop it all in here with, and without having to filter it all from there uh, Tango talks about that in, in his video each section has its own section like that its own chest like the insertion chest there this is the main input chest for single items I want to also have somewhere up in here somewhere maybe a shulker box unloader or maybe I'll be putting it in you know one dream I have is that I can drop things in here because this is the exact spot where things show up when you drop them in, in the uh, portal in the end. And well, I can't show you right now unless I break things, which I can do because I'm the boss. I drop things in, in there and they end up right here. And I can certainly put a hopper there and just filter it over there and filter out the shulker boxes and whatnot. So, the next step is to chop down some more trees, probably. As you see, I've already chopped down, I think, all the trees around here I'm going to chop down without, without getting in trouble for deforestation. Um, I also need to clear area around here going down I think three blocks and back eight blocks four by eight by down three to up a bunch. I also have to be careful because over here we have chickens. Nah. And we also have eggs. The uh, the hurricane farm. So I, I don't want to interfere with that. That's why I didn't make and put another unit here. So this has to be cleared out to make room for all the redstone. And then I have to Turn the corner to go to the next unit from here. Whoa. And yep. Yeah. So, I'll get busy on that. Okay, so I just want to show you how things look so far. I have the five pads in place here. There are four of them you can see from there. I'll, I'll fly down so you can get a closer look. There's there are four four by nine with the first block underneath the front of the chest. So the chest is here and there's a block underneath that which I won't see because mine's higher than that and three blocks and then the pad. And then I have another one over here. And the same basic setup. And I put all my supplies for the project in here. Not kind of building blocks. I'm using smooth stone for the red for the redstone part because it's easy to count. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 
what did it do for? Both stuff's been cleared. And this is my garden waste stuff. Plus, there was a pond here that's gone now. Fond memories of the pond, but I'll have fonder memories of, of the storage system. Okay, time to start, start placing down redstone. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you the last one here because I practice it. This is the first step. Torch. Redstone vortex. Dust. Repeater. Lock. Dust. Compare the comparator. Compare the comparator. Dust, 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 dust. The device is that you do them all at the same time. It, fewer chances of mistakes that way. So that's what I'm doing. Now for the next step. Once again, I'll show you on the last one once I practice it well enough. Block here, block here. This is not the way he does it, but I find it works really well. Dust, dust, dust. Now that dust is there, I can place the block here easily. Jump up on here. Place the torch. Place the dropper on top of it. Loop around, jump, place the comparator. Flip around, sneak. Place the block. Block here. Of course, I'll get that wrong. And that side is done, except for this block that isn't long. Possibly, yeah. Do the same thing here. Block, two blocks apart. Dust, dust, dust. Another block there. Flip up on that one. Torch, dropper. Flip around, use the last of my comparators. Use the come as go. That's all we need that for. And the torch there. And that's done except that you need a torch here and a torch here. And he explains why you need torches at all these different places. And that's all done. Okay, as usual, I will show you how I'm doing this one. This step. I guess scaffolding right here. This is all about the hoppers. One there. Four zigzagging here. One up here. One over here. It's all about temporary blocks as well. One going into that temporary block. That block goes away. Tick. Hey, that part works. <laughs> And this one here is going to be a little bit interesting because it's a. I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, it makes it easier. Yeah, it makes it easier. Of course, I saw the guy goes to my output chest. So this is the output, and this is the input. Oh, sorry, this is the input here. As you see from here. I think Tango and I are using the same mod or did data pack for the hoppers that give you the arrows that they're pointing, which is, frankly, I will not do play Minecraft without this. I can't wait until, until it's part of vanilla. But until then, yeah. Okay, so that part's done. All, all, all five of them done the same way. I hope. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay. Oops, hang on. 
Okay. So we're going to place a temporary block up at the top. Barely reach it. Now I place a hopper pointing in the back of each of these chests. His, his instructions say to use trap chests. Obviously, these in this day and age, you don't need to do that. So I'm not bothering with that. And that part's... Ah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I forgot one side. Okay, so yeah, same basic idea. Okay, here's the next one. It's a bit complex until you break it down. A little bit easier for me than for him, maybe. What am I saying? He's in creative. Anyway, so solid block there, three slabs. There's a lot of distinction between solids and slabs here. You have to be careful of that. And a repeater here. And then you have another solid block here on top of the upper chest, upper hopper rather. Two more slabs here, have to be slabs. Repeater, and then everything here gets connected with redstone dust. And I just barely had enough redstone for it, and that's that. Okay, so now the next step involves a bit of parkour. And uh, <laughs> and me falling fell on my face. That's not gonna work. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Now it's easy. Block, block, slab, slab, block. Slab, slab, block, repeater, dang it, ah. repeater, repeater, dust, 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 torch, torch, Rinse and repeat. Block, block. Slab, slab. Block. Slab, slab. Block. Repeater, repeater. Dust, 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 dust. Torch, torch. Block, block. Yeah, I'm cheating a bit. Thanks. Got out of the way there. Okay. Slab, slab. Block. Block. So, yes, there are different ways of doing this, and they're all equally valid. Dust, 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 dust. And given my count of repeaters, I presume I am done. Yes, okay. Okay, the next step is to hook up the hoppers and the droppers. Wonk. Ow. Maybe I should do first, but let me get this done first. Jump stack up seven. Seven. And the eighth one is horizontal. Hook up the hoppers. One, two, three. And do I have a, I think I need it, but might as well add it.
I don't have the luxury of flying mode like our dear friend Tango. I think I should probably eat at some point before I die. Five, six, seven. Perfect count. Thank you. I did craft three more hoppers than I needed for the exact recipe. So I do have one extra here. And then finally, two blocks here. Two torches here, just like down below. Get all those torches all the way down. And a redstone wire on top. And that's that. For this step. Okay, I'm getting a rhythm on down here. Next one is getting connecting all the wiring together so that this torch here powers everything up there. Is this what Tango says? And of course, the way he does it is slightly different than the way I'm doing it because he's got it easier. So I stack up here, place some redstone here and here, repeat, slab and slab, redstone, redstone, slab and slab, redstone, redstone, and then I look up and oh I'm done. And that's how we do it in, in Survival Town. Okay, next step is a bunch of torches and blocks. Here we go. Torch. Block. Block. Oh, that's already stupid. Torch. Block. Torch. And again, this is a lot easier or a lot differently done in creative. But that's life in the big city, you know? Or in the survival jungle. And you just do this a dance until you reach the top. Torches and blocks, blocks and torches, just don't fall off. We we'll have to climb back up. And just make sure that the outer torches are off and the inner torches are on. Oh, whoops, I do those. We're done. See? The outer ones line up with the droppers that are pointing horizontally, just like he predicted. Okay. Okay, for this last one, I'm going to start a little bit earlier. So you go to the top four blocks sticking out. Put a torch on the inside facing the droppers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the final one here. One, two, three. Oh, darn, very quickly. Two, three, four. And I run to bed. And you may notice ender pearls in my hot bar. I recommend you always keep hot ender pearls with you. I had to fish them out of my ender chest because there are places in here that were you to find yourself inside them, it is nigh impossible to get out of. <clears throat> like right inside there. If you fall down the middle shaft there, you're 
pretty much stuck without an ender pearl unless you want to break something. Yeah, you don't want to fall down in there. But, you know, with an ender pearl, you just blank and you're out. I suppose the light road would also be a way out. Um, okay. I think we're almost done. His last recommendation is to light it up to help with lag, believe it or not. So, torches. So I'll do this one first. Just never have too many torches, I guess, in these things. I already put some down. The idea with the torches, as he explains, is the um, if it's not very well lit, then then the lighting updates from the redstone torches cause a lot of lag, but if if the resin torches are washed out by real torches, then it's a lot easier on the lag, so. But he explains all that. And you don't need me to explain it to you because you can watch his video, which I heartily recommend. He did a great job with this. Okay, uh, I'll come back up for the next step. Okay, so uh, connecting the two, this is where t there's two modules that are next to each other. It's real simple. This is the input from the second one. This is the output from the first one. Want to see it again? Yeah, it's simple. Okay, I did this for part one too fast because it was just so easy. This is the insertion chest between each module. Um, all I did was just run a hopper from there to the output hopper. Hopper, hopper change from there to the output hopper, which is right here which goes to the input hopper of the next module that it's going to be a feeding into. It's quite simple. There's nothing to it, really. I... Yeah. And all, I've, all, all that's left to do is to hook up the output, which is right now going to a dirt block, I believe. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, yeah. And that's got to be fixed. So, oh, here it is, yeah, dirt block. So that's the final overflow. And I need to find a place to put that where it's easily accessible inside the, inside the building. I don't want to build another item elevator, but I might do that. Or I might make use of this unusually large tree. Never explained this tree, but I did have plans for it. Uh, I'll have to think about that. In the meantime, I can just make the last chest on the last module empty of, it, of any marker, of fillers or anything. Actually, I can test this. Yeah, let's try that. I wonder where I will go. 
I don't fix that. Oops. I should fix that tomorrow. Oh, oh, these temporary blocks I put here. Right. Ah, right, of course, I went to the first available, available spot. Perfect. Expert sleeping. I'm out. Oh, now I take damage. Okay. All right. Let me do some testing and filling up and get back to you. In a way, this is almost too good of a storage system for my needs because I'm running out of spill. Well, I mean, I could, I have a chest full of stone, so I could easily do that. But I'm taking to naming a lot of bamboo inventory filler so that every slot can be filled. Um, some of that is just temporary until I get a chance to move things over. Some of that is real and that I don't really have a lot of stone brick, for example. Uh, some I, I don't know what I'm going to use this chest for. Or this one, but it's stone something. So. So in order to test the various modules, I've been putting things in places. This one is mostly full of fillers that I think are very last chest is empty so that I can test it's not the fastest but it's reliable enough and that I understand will eventually show up here. But there it goes. But it actually belongs here. There. So I can start emptying these. These chests all contain stuff that I already have, well, except for the nether stuff. Uh, yeah, these are all fair game now. Oh, except for the polish variety. Yeah, and the stairs and you know, the gravel. I forgot about the gravel. And the flint. Don't get me started on flint. So, next step is to actually get this organized and decide what's going to be what 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 will live where. And make sure everything that is not doesn't have something living in it will have. Bamboo living in it. I mean, filler bamboo. But I think it's working. I think it, it's. I think it works. I think it looks good. I think the room looks reasonable. Given the needs of it, being able to, I, I can access all these bottom chests. Um, I do, I am putting things I don't use much of in the bottom chest, truth be told. I may just use the first two modules to start with until I find myself needing more. We'll see.
And I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I, I, I'm going to get to work getting everything filtered and organized and start migrating everything into this system. I also need to get the uh, item frames put into place. That's going to help a lot with figuring out, remembering where everything goes. And once I get that, it looks a lot better. It'll be a lot nicer. Yeah. Thank you all for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.